Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow FX once again. Today I'm going to introduce you to our latest release and that's called DaVinci Pro Profiles. And what this is, this builds upon our existing DaVinci uh, uh, Shortcuts Icons pack. But what it gives you is uh, two very important things. One is an organized workflow with the profiles and in addition, almost 900 pre-programmed shortcuts built into uh, Stream Deck and Touch Portal. Now quickly, I'll, I'll describe the setup I've got here today. I've got, uh, on the left, I've got uh, the DaVinci Pro Profiles pack loaded up on my iPad running Touch Portal software. And over here is the Stream Deck uh, XL device running the DaVinci Pro Profiles. And when you buy the pack, you can run it on either one, and I've got both of them running at the same time, which you can do if you choose to do as well, and it, it further extends your capabilities. And in the middle, of course, I have a tangent element uh, panel that I'm just, I'm just going to use for, for doing the quick uh, uh, color grading uh, in our demonstration here. So uh, in DaVinci here, I've got uh, a cut that I did uh, for a television program with Michael McDonald. And this is a musical number uh, that we're going to add in a little bit of B-roll to. There's a section here. Till that river's crossed. So I'm going to add in a B-roll of uh, some nature, maybe a, a river, that sort of thing. So uh, let's jump over to the media page. And on our main page here in the profile, we can jump between the different rooms along the bottom here, whether you're on Touch Portal or over here uh, on the Stream Deck. We have them along the side. So pressing either one, we can go to the media page. If you want, I can jump back over to the color page here and to the media page on the Stream Deck. So we're in the media page right now. I want, I want to import some stock footage. So I can jump to the media management page that uh, that we've made and as you can see it's laid out uh, some of the most common shortcuts that you will need once you're in this room and I'll do the same thing over on Stream Deck I'll just jump over to the media management page so you can see that we're running the same thing here so let's say we want to import some new media so it's just the import media button brings up our dialog that let's just select the clips that we want to include okay and it loads them into our media pool since they're already pre-selected I want to put them into a bin so I'm going to select the button create bin with selected media and it performs that opens the bin for us and let's just label the bin we'll just call it stock for now all right and also uh, let's say I want to make these a different clip color. So we also have the clip color menu on our media management page. So we can click to it here and we'll add a nice orange color. So now our clips have been labeled orange and we can slip back out. We could have done the same thing over here on the stream deck. The same color uh, clip color commands are available there as well. Now let's jump back into the edit page. So we jump out of this, go into, uh, we can select the edit page to jump us uh, to the edit room. And now we're gonna go into the edit page of our DaVinci Pro profiles. I'll do the same thing in the stream deck. Once again, most likely you'll be run, running one or the other, either touch portal or stream deck, but I'm just trying to show you both at the same time here. And let's say, so that's the point at which I wanna cut in. So I can uh, do a mark in here. Let's load in the clip that we want. Let's say we're going to run, uh, there's one here that has a river here. We'll, we'll run this one here. And just before we get to this waterfall, we'll make our in point there. And we'll just do an overwrite. And it lays it over top on our second track here because we had the second track highlighted. Now just select the clip and on the stream deck, I'm going to jump to the navigation page and I'm going to select play around current selection. So this will play the clip. The 
So as you can see, uh, that's where we want, but uh, you know, I want to dissolve uh, to, to happen here. So on the Stream Deck, I can jump uh, back into the main edit page and the add transition button is here. So we just add the transition there and now we can go back to navigation. All right, that's good. Now let's say that uh, at this point, when he's singing, that point is where we want to start coming back in. Well, that's a trim function, so I'm going to go jump out of editing, go into the trim tools, and you'll notice that um, we have a few more menus on the Stream Deck than we do on the Touch Portal. That's because we were able to, with Touch Portal, we were able to fit a lot more uh, key commands on one page. Uh, then you can, you're limited to 32 on the stream deck, but you're, you're limited by I think 100 and some odd uh, on the touch portal per page. So there's fewer navigations, a little bit fewer jumping back and forth, some of the buttons and eliminate some of the menus. So back to the cut, let's say we want to, that's uh, where we want our out point to be. So we're going to trim the end of this. So we select trim end and that trims it up for us. And because we had the clip selected when we pressed add transition, we've got the fade out as well. So now with the clip still selected, jump out, navigation, play current clip. Okay, that looks good. Let's say I, I want another shot in here, so I'm just going to uh, delete that dissolve and I'm going to add in a second shot here. Let's add in this one here where we're rising up and we're seeing the rising sun. And let's start in about here and we'll just do an overwrite this time on the stream deck. I'm going to position it back to the uh, to the edit point and I'm going to do a, a cross dissolve between these two here. I'm going to get into trim mode select this and I'm going to hit a dissolve for there. So now let's play around this selection. Jump back to navigation. All right, and if I want to loop that, I just hit uh, the loop key here and the same thing over on uh, the uh, the touch portal as well. We can go to the edit to page and these are all of our additional commands here. So now that we have it on loop, we can also do the play around the current frame. And if we're happy with that, that's good. We can move on. Now let's figure out where our out point is going to be. On the stream deck, we're still in the navigation page. I like to come out uh, and then right there when the, the two of them start singing together I'm going to tr uh, select this clip and I'm going to go out to trim and I'm trim the end there and I also want to add a dissolve onto that one so I'm going to select this edit point and create a transition. Now I'm going to select both these clips. Navigation once again, I'm going to play around the selection. Okay, that's good, that works for me. So let's say that's the edit, that's what we're happy with and we wanna move on to color grading. So let's go back out to the main menu, we're going to send ourselves to the color room and we're gonna get into the grading profile. And we'll do the same thing in the stream deck. Go back to the main menu and go into grading. And as you can see, once again, because of the restrictions of the stream deck and how many keys you have, 32 versus, I think we have almost 60 or so here on the, uh, on the touch portal. Uh, we were able to combine the node page onto this main grading page. On the stream deck, 
we have the main grading page and we have a second grading page. Go back. But we have nodes as a separate page on its own. So let's say we're going to start grading now. And the way I like to work is I always leave my first node clean and I start with a, uh, I start doing my grading on the second node. So we add a serial node and uh, we can also just quickly label it and we'll call this base correction. And I'm going to bring up my scopes here. Now the scopes aren't on this page. We can uh, just slip out, open up the scopes there, go back and go back into nodes. Uh, or, if you, or if you're running with the uh, touch portal, the scopes are on the main page and they're right here. So now we're just going to do a, a, a quick grade on here. It's pretty well balanced what it is. Let's say we'll go for a different uh, kind of look here. Let's raise up the mids. And let's, uh, you know, we'll, we'll burn off the uh, highlights a little bit. And a little bit in the highlights and in the mids. Yeah, just for a particular kind of look. There we go. So let's say I want to save this as a base correction. I'm going to open up the gallery. So we select gallery here that opens it up and I'm going to save this grade. So I'm going to grab the still and it places it into our, our gallery there. Looks good. Let me just move the uh, scopes off screen for a sec. We're going to jump to the second B-roll shot that we've got of the rising sun. And I'm going to select that grade in the gallery that we just completed and I'm going to apply the grade. And it applies that grade to this shot. Now of course it it's uh, it doesn't work for us here. We, we need to do some better correction than what we've got here. So I'll just quickly do a quick little balance, bring it back in a little bit. There we go. Now, let's say I want to, uh, now we've got a base correction here. I want to do a bit more of an effect on this shot. Let's say I want to warm up the sky only. So I, I need to do a secondary on this. So I'm going to go into the nodes and I'm going to select a rectangular power window. I'm going to go back out of grading and I'm going to deselect the, uh, the gallery so we have a larger screen to work with here. Now we're going to go into uh, wipe and overlays on the stream deck and we can do the same thing on the touch portal. Go into wipe and overlays. Now this gives us access to the on-screen controls. So for this purpose I want to turn my window outline on and let's make an adjustment here. Now you see we have our, our highlight mode is on at the moment. We can shut that off from this page as well by deselecting uh, highlight mode and then we can see it a little easier. So let's move this up. Let's shrink this down just a bit and move this over. We're just going to do this horizon line here. And let's just feather this off quite a bit. Okay, there we go. We just created we can turn our highlight mode back on and we can see what we've we've done here. Maybe that's a little too much. Just narrow that up just a bit. There we go. Now we want to track this. So we can go into the tracker panel on the interface, but also on the stream deck, and we can do the same thing over in touch portal. We can go into tracker and keyframes. Now with this outline selected, we can just track forward from this point. Let it do its job. Now we're going to jump out of the tracking mode. We're going to go back into doing a little bit of color work here and just switch, uh, switch the uh, highlight back off so we can see our image here. And let's do a quick warming of the highlights and the mids. Just really warm that off, make that a morning sun very quickly. There we go. And we can shut our window outline off. We can go back to wipe and overlays and shut the window outline off so we can have a clean view. And if we wanted, we can go into cinema view and look at this shot in full screen. And there you go. 
very quickly the way we can jump around very easily even though uh, some of the pages are uh, you have separate pages for different functions you, you can get a workflow that quickly will allow you to jump around very easily and you become very used to where things are now it's a very quick example of media management of editing and of doing a color grade with this very simplified example of it but of course you can see you have so many other functions at your fingertips here that's going to make your life a lot easier and a lot quicker to get through an edit session or a color session but a lot of people are going to want to customize things to how they like to work for example let's say that uh, when we're in the nodes view that's just uh, will affect this shot here uh, let's add a, a serial node and uh, let's just do something crazy here we're just going to really whack this out quite a bit make it really really you know, throw a bunch of blue into the blacks here that sort of thing okay just give it some sort of drastic look here now if i want to save uh, that as a version and uh, work on a different alternate version of that in the nodes page and of course in the touch portal main grading page we have the ability to add a grade version so we just added a new version. Of course, it copies the color from one version to the other. We want this one to be clean, so we can select our reselect, uh, uh, reset grades and keep the nodes. So now we're clean. And let's do, let's say, the opposite look to that, which uh, let's go really, really warm on this. Really, really gold. OK, there we go. And let's just really crush it and blow out the highlights. There we go. Okay, so we can go back and forth between the two different versions by hitting the previous grade and then the next grade. We can jump between the two and decide which one we want to go with. Let's say we want to go with the blue version and we want to uh, keep this as a still. But let's say you do this on a regular basis and you want to have access to the gallery on this page. Well, uh, the, the gallery button is, doesn't exist on this page, but it's very easy to get it there. And so we're going to jump out to Stream Deck itself. You can see our empty buttons here. Let's jump out and we're going to grab the gallery button here. We're going to copy, go back into the wipe and overlay, go back into the nodes, select one of the empty buttons and just hit paste. And there your gallery button is placed where you'd like it. Go back into DaVinci. Now I can open up the gallery page. I can save this as a still. And let's say I want to put that grab a still into that page. Same thing. Grab a still, copy, go into nodes, paste. Go back to DaVinci. I have it right there. I want to grab this still. It loads it into my gallery. And let's go to the next shot. And let's say I want to add that grade to this shot. Well, I can apply a grade, or I can go into the main page, and I can also add in add add grade from one clip prior just click that and there we go we've added it in so as you can see with all these functions at your fingertips it can really make things speed up in your session make things easier free you up for your creativity because you don't have to think about all the different key commands well i really do hope these pro profiles help you in your workflow and it's going to make your life easier in the edit suite until then we'll talk to you next time